Okay, here we have an Aorus Z390 motherboard hardware version 1.0. In attempting to upgrade for the new Windows 11 TPM 2.0, I followed all the instructions from Gigabyte. Also went on multiple forums, YouTube videos, and was not able to get that to work. Um, and so basically I wound up with a black screen at the very end. Um, I knew that there would be a solution somewhere, somehow, and in using the clear CMOS BIOS on the back of the motherboard, that didn't work. Let me show you where that is. That is right there. I'll put a pin here. So I unplugged the computer, pushed that in. The computer tried to restart three times and then it shut off. Not a good sign, of course. However, the, um, the happy ending here is that I looked in the manual, and in the manual on page 25, let me zoom in here a little closer. You can see that switch down below on, let me get that pen in there, I just want to make sure not to touch anything. You can see my pen, and it says number one and number two. So number one is your main BIOS. Luckily, when I upgraded the firmware today, when saving, I chose to save the BIOS. That actually puts it in the number two memory. Uh, basically, you have two, two BIOS memories. Um, so when I tried to boot up off the default number one, I got a black screen. Taking the computer case off, looking in the manual, I did find this toggle switch. I moved it over to two because I did have a backup of the BIOS and the computer boots up nicely. So my task right now, and I'm not sure how to go about doing this, is to of course not lose the settings in number two, but to merely wipe out number one and get them back to factory defaults. As luck would have it, Gigabyte is closed today, and my emails to them in the past have been one sentence responses, not real happy. Anyway, so if you're having trouble booting after you make TPM changes and you have a Gigabyte motherboard, you don't have to clear the CMOS as long as you have a backup and if you don't make one while you're in the BIOS, and then just move that switch over to two and you'll be able to boot up normally. Thank you, I hope this helps you. As I know for some of us, not being able to get into your computer can be a real heartbreaker. Thank you, good luck.